Hey guys, it's Seb and welcome back to yet another tutorial. Now today we're going to be looking at some online networking and today we're just going to be doing specifically the lobby part of our game. So we're just going to create a simple lobby so you can, when you launch up the game, you can choose if you want to be the server or the client. And once you've done that, if you are the client, it will receive the server, the data that the server is broadcasted to all network. So this will obviously only work for the uh, local multiplayer. We uh, will probably add a direct connect option in a later tutorial. So yeah, let's just jump right into this. So first of all, we just got to create an object. So we'll just do that as it loads. Um, so this object will be the um, the lobby. So this is sort of just the main object. So let's call this lobby for now. Um, so we got to do a create event, obviously just to create all of our variables so we'll just call this one initialize the variables now next of all we just have to do task so this will be the variable we use to store the task that is being held so say either hosting or being the client so completed action is the next one we will do sorry I cannot type today so that will just say if the action is completed if the server's been created or if we sent out the request and his server name exists so this is just checking if the name of the server we are looking for, that is in our database already exists so that's all we need to do for the create event next up we're going to need a step event and we're going to check if a key is pressed to choose what is going to be happening so let's go check key pressed so we're going to do if keyboard check pressed and we'll look for the H key to start off with so we'll just do ORD for, to find a letter on the keyboard um so this oh, uh, so what we're going to do here is this is going to be the key to choose if you're the host we will probably have a better uh, UI in the later tutorial but this is just getting the basics done so we can make it look better in the future so we're just going to simply just set task to host here so once that is done we can just copy and paste this if statement, uh, change the H to a G A, and change the task to join. Right, so now this is the long bit of code we've got to do. So we're going to go if com exclamation mark completed action. This sees if the action has not been completed because there's an exclamation mark which indicates that it has not, and if the task does not equal nothing. So that's what's happening. So now we've got to go if task equals host, then we'll create the server. So we'll just call this server equals network create. So this is the main thing. This creates the server for. So this is probably one of the most important things. If you do not do this line of code, then the server will not be created. So we'll just do a TCP. Um, we'll just set it to the port. Um, I don't know. Hopefully I remember that. And then we'll just set the max values for 16. You can choose whatever you want, it's just 16, it's a good number. So next thing we're going to create, after I fix this spelling mistake, is we're going to create the buffer. So the buffer is the sort of packet of data that is sent. So you set, this is the packet, so when you send this, this is what gets sent to the um, client or the server. So we'll do buffer. It's also used in non multiplayer so we'll get to that in the later stage. So we'll set the size to 1024 bytes, we'll make it a fixed so it does not exceed that, and the alignment is set to 1. Now we'll create a socket, so this is what, um, this is what we're going to use to send the data to all the other, th on the network, so this is just going to be a UDP, so there's two different TCP and UDP, I strongly recommend you guys just go look it up, it's just UDP is connection list. It is faster but less reliable than TCP, and TCP is obviously connection. So we've created that socket. Now it's going to create the name. So we're just going to the server name equals get string. So most people probably know this. This is just it does a pop up into the box. It's not. It doesn't look very good, but it is good for what our purposes. So enter server name, and then we'll just set that to enough. All right. So now it's going to set the completed action. To equal true because now we have finished doing all of this and sorry guys this is going too fast it's just this is quite a lot of stuff to get into one video 
and yeah so now we're going to do if task equals join so if it's join this is much so UDP listener so this is this um, the so this um, socket we're going to create and it's going to be an external socket well, a different socket. it's not a normal socket so this is just network socket UDP so this is just this command this function just lets it listen on a port see if anything happens and for this one we're going to do 352 let's just go 37 alright so now we've done that we're just going to complete it action equals true so this is just saying that the action has been completed and that we're good to go so now the final one we need to do is just every step so this is we're just going to be running a script we're about to make so if the task equals post then server step so this is just so we don't have to create everything in so. so now we've done that, we have to create the script server step. So let's just create the script, rename it to server step. And so now we create a script. We can just go, we don't really need a description for this one. So let's go port. So this is the port we'll just be setting it to just for a few references. I just did this, but we don't need to do this. Um, so port equals 35236. So now we're going to seek to the beginning of the buffer just to make sure we're at the beginning because what we want to do is send out the data for the server every single step. So this isn't, this isn't very, um, it's not very efficient but it's local network so it will not be using too much, it will not take too long but there is a better way you can do that with, you could just for example you could use an alarm or it's a variable that counts up. So now it's going to write a message to the buffer, we're going to make it a string. So we're writing a string to it, it's pretty simple, and we're just going to write the server name. And then now, we're just going to send this broadcast, this will send it to every, so if you go to here, this sends it to every single, um, every single IP on the thing, so it will broadcast over the range of there, if that's your IP. There. So there we go, that, so we send the broadcast, through our socket we created, um, we'll use that same UDP port we used to listen on the client. And also, just to mention, this is a one thing you do not need um, a client server in a client for this code. So we're going to be sending the buffer, and this is just buffer tell. So this is this tells the size of the buffer. So this will just return the, the size of the buffer we're sending. So now we've done that. We have pretty much done this script. We just have to create another bit of code in our object lobby. So we're gonna go add event, asynchronous, and then asynchronous networking. So this is just it's the networking event. So we're just gonna call that check for broadcasts because that's what we are doing. So we're gonna go if the task does equal join then we will find the type just to make sure it's not someone trying to connect to the server or connect to us uh, thing for some reason, this is just to make sure so this is just retrieving the type of data received whether it is the connection, disconnect but now it's going to go if type equals net work type data so it's just checking if the data is received is data then the name of the server is buffer read async loads, so this is just the, again the DS map we are uh, the data structure map we are retrieving from then we're going to do buffer because this will retrieve the buffer then buffer string we just have to do the same thing we did when we were writing the variable so now I was going to do this we do, have not created this object this is just the if object server name so we'll just create that object quickly now so we do not get any errors but we'll come back So we've created this. Now we're just going to go in here and we're going to go if text, because this is a good variable we're going to set, equals object lobby dot name, so it's retrieving the name variable that we have, then obj lobby dot server name exists equals true. So we're going to just show the debug message 
I'm just gonna do running check just so we can know that it's running every single step. You don't have to do this, I just like to do this so I don't need to do it. So we finish this one now, just go if the server name does not exist then server name obj equals instance create layer so again if you was on gms1 <coughs> you just do instance create and just do your normal one but for us we have to do something a bit different so we're just going to do this for now just to make it work we will change this a bit later because this is obviously not accurate um, now it's going to do 10 our layer is instances and obj server name I hope that's right because I cannot actually go across there right. oh. so now we've done that one we can pull this guy back up you guys probably won't have to deal with this but my tiny little screen I do So now we're just going to go server name obj dot text equals name. So now we've been completely finished in obj lobby. We're just going to have to jump into obj server name, and there's only a bit we have to do. So we've got to create a create event. Um, this will be init variables. Um, we've just got to set text to do nothing, just so we don't get undefined. And now the last one we've got to do is just a draw. So we're just going to open up a draw event. And we've got to set the description to draw text. Again, you have to do it. I just like doing it. So draw text x, y. So this gets the x and y coordinates of the object. And then we just draw text. So now we should be finished all the code we do need to do. Um, I've already got another project in another window so we can test it as GMS2 does not have um, exporting as um, exporting as EXEs yet so what we're going to do is we're going to test it we'll just run this as we run it as a server so just wait for this to run alright so here we've got this window Oh, right. This we had another edit. Um, it just wasn't appearing in our. So what I forgot to do is I forgot to set the color of the text to white. So I have done that now, just in the uh, drawer event. So now we'll just run this and join the game, and it should work fine. So just drag this guy in, and so here we have it. That's just the server I've created on this window. Um, yeah, so guys, thank you for watching. Please like if you enjoyed and do subscribe. I will have the source code in the description. GMS1 might take a bit longer to come up. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time.